Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. It's my birthday. And we got Mr. Wasubi with us. How are we doing today, sir? Hi, man. Uh, what's up? I'm doing great. Uh, happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, uh, been a while, hasn't it? Like, yeah, we we we, we, we had some other started, other folks on, but like we always come back to the true the true bay of Mr. Wasubi. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now this was something. Uh, who came up with this list with the Fain Death matter? Oh, uh, I think the like the very first idea to just cram Maddox into ST was Green Knights. But basically, we're doing a lot of testing after the nerf to Justice, right? Uh, yeah. First thing we tried was to obviously keep the Justice, play like more of these four P dwarfs, you know, pirate technicians, Marauders. But yeah, it's just not reliable, right? Yeah, you need to have a dwarf on the board, and you also need to draw your justice and not break your volunteers. So it just doesn't really bode too well. And if you actually think about it, Madok, I mean, he thins by one, uh, so he's kind of a very mini justice himself, and like the bombs are actually decent cards now. Yeah, I mean, they play for the... sevens, you know, and, and sometimes yeah. with, like, the making the bombs and stuff, you can get kind of cute with the movement. Yeah, and... move the stuff around. It's quite useful, yeah. yeah. And the diamond return bomb now is dealing four damage, so that's a really good removal card. Then we have one of uh, one uh, one of uh, Northern Wind and Moondust. Uh, kind of just, you know, cheeky cards. Yeah, it's nice Moondust in the mirror, can... too. You can banish your opponent's Matic and stuff, so. Right, yeah. Um, banish like a Maddox, banish like a Ceres or something. Uh, I guess Flying Redanian if someone is playing Syndicate in 2021. Yeah, <laughs> and then you know, they're in a rough also spot. Also, has applications. Can yeah. purify a defender, can kill a Helge or something. Griffin, Witcher, Adept. It's uh, yeah, the bombs are kind of nice. Yeah. For sure. And as long as you pass the skill check with a Nero or the Feign Death, you should be okay. <laughs> yeah. There was a couple that I failed, that it was like, really? Like, uh, uh, like obviously, it's a very polarized deck, right? Like, if you miss these gold cards, it's going to be rough, for sure. Yeah. But, yeah. There All was... of your golds are extremely strong. Yeah, I, I just barely made pro rank last season one because I didn't play a whole lot. And two, I, w I was trying to play the precision strike list that was on the website before everything got nerfed. And I can't tell you how many games that I didn't draw a Nero or Justice. I, th I, I think I... only one, like, I think I went like 10 and 11 out of, out of 21 games with it. It's like I just couldn't do anything with the list because I just... I drew so yeah. poorly. It was sad. Doing your cards is important, guys. You have to get better at that. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, yeah. we can't help you out with that. Um, mm -hmm. In case you don't make like, it to the end of the video, a um, couple things coming from uh, the TLG um, team. We got the, the new websites coming with, um, what is it, TLG.gg. Yeah, it's, go... it's just like a way to shorten the... Uh, the website link, right? Because not everybody can spell Leviathan. Yeah, yeah. Instead of <laughs> teamleviathangaming.com, you can just go tlg.gg and use all the links that you know. Yeah, you that's, know, that's good. Meta. That's super helpful. So I'll, I'll have to yeah. update my uh, copy pasta for the uh, the videos. Um, nice. Yeah, it's also useful for like Twitter and stuff when we're letting people know we posted a new article or whatever. So yeah. And a um, couple other things to uh, the new. When do you, when do you, first, probably a lot of people are going to wonder um, when do you think the next meta report's going to be out? Well, I mean, like sometime next week. It's, I mean, the season has started uh, on Tuesday, right? It's always awkward, yeah. Yeah, uh, like the season is, first of all, it's super short, it's only like 20 days. So, yeah, we usually do meta reports like two weeks into the season, but. Two weeks into this season means a week left of the season, so it's kind yeah, of Yeah, like... this one's super weird, like having just yeah. a short really season short. and then we got qualifiers and the guys that are in the qualifiers exactly. need to practice, Basically, so they can't weekend. climb. 
yeah yeah next weekend there's a top 16 qualifier and then the weekend after that there's a top 64 so i guess we literally have to take care of it next week from like mon monday to thursday so i don't know maybe expect it before the weekend but We'll no see. promises guys. we'll see yeah because I, I know like yeah. the day the patch comes out they're like where's the meta report it's like <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's, dude it's the meta didn't even I... happen yet it's you played fair. four games unless you're bart and you played <laughs> 200 dude, but um yeah like i'm gonna be honest the the patch uh affected a lot more than i expected like Especially medic uh, makes sense in, in more decks than one would have anticipated, such as elves, which seems very weird, right? But <laughs> yeah, what do you think the best deck is currently? Witchers, um, NR. I, I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to say. I think Skellige will be extremely good. Uh, it's just it seems like even last season it was the best performing faction. Like, if you guys haven't seen, uh, head to the website and there's a article from Inuano where he goes through some data from last season. And, like, it appears that Skellige was the best performing deck, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it depends you know, if you want to the, the go for the 2-0 or if you want actual consistency. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the Lippy or go for the Warriors, up to you. Yeah. yeah. I, I think this deck also will be good. Uh, Provided you're drawing your cards. <laughs> yeah, it's it seems like a solid tier two deck. I mean, you, you'll see in the yeah, games we sure. play, it uh, it's got the burst capabilities with you know the swarm, and uh, it, it's annoying on it's it's almost as annoying as enslave with you know All just these damage specials yeah just and damage stuff. and nothing on the board. <laughs> yeah, if if you if you look at the bronzes, all of the bronzes actually deal damage. So, like, combined with the bombs and the Madog, you're quite good at controlling stuff, surprisingly. Yeah. Because the idea is not to play into removal yourself, right? Uh, you guys are probably used to skeletal bags with, like, all the 5P engines, you know? Right. With the Sentry and the Cat Witcher and the Matron. Uh, and, yeah, this deck also gets rid of uh, uh, Gaetan in the 7P slot. And instead, we're playing Isengrim, and we're playing Curse. Mm. And then we're just playing a bunch of four provision elves, bunch of bombs. So it's like a very different take on elves, but I think it's pretty decent. Yeah, as long as Matic uh, jumps to the right row, this is the Exodia Slayer, uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, obviously, gonna... things have to go right for this deck. If if you miss your Neuromancy or your Fain Death, you're gonna be lacking a lot of juice. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that that's just Gwent, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. have to draw your cards. <laughs> Gotta draw them, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But that's uh, that's the intro for today, guys. Uh, Wasubi, once again, brother, thank you for uh, recording and hanging out, man. I yeah, appreciate totally you, man. Pleasure, man. Um, pleasure to be back. A couple games here, guys. Thank you so much for all the the kind words, and uh, also too for everybody that voted for my uh, seasonal list, man, to get it to number one. That feels super good. Uh, it's like high up, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, um, I'm gonna message Ryan see if I could be the seasonal ambassador. <laughs> ah. yeah. But, but uh, thank you guys so much for everything. Here's a couple games. We'll see you at the end. I was just like, nope, I pass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I yield, sir. I there yield. We there we go. There we go. The lockdowns. So the question is, is it ball or is it clog? And does he have uh, spheres? <laughs> mm, well, they never have spheres, but some of them sometimes randomly run Amnesty. Not uh, lockdown, though, in my experience. Um, uh, drop one bowman. One bowman, yeah, sounds good. Don't draw the medic. Oh no, eh, it's not so bad, especially if it's like yeah, it's actually clog. Wait, this is so random. What's the top card in our deck? It's a six. What does that mean? So we just I drop actually... this front row. Does he banish it? Mm, how? I don't. I don't think he can actually. Yeah, just drop it from draw. Seems fine. 
Wait, what is a 6 version card in our deck? I actually don't remember. Because Yemen is like 7. Oh, it, it just sets to 7. Sorry, I keep forgetting. So there's a Yaven at the top of our deck, basically. That's that's what we know. Oh, he Invocation? Invoked. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, so he, he is a Maddox deck himself. He will have like a couple of Maddox. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so I guess we just get rid of these bombs now. Yeah. Like the making a bomb, I think. Rather, on the 7. You think that'll be our curse, or we have to save the curse? I think you save it, yeah. Just, I would move the 7, yeah, because then you get, like, a full value on the Bowman. Uh, the good thing is there's nothing on the board for him to play the yeah. Matic, so... You can't play bombs. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, Invo on Madagascar. Really? Is, Why? Just randomly trying to steal the. I mean, he takes the Yaven, but it's useless for him anyway, so. Whatever. Don't touch! Those mixtures sustain me! Ooh. Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Can we just uh, Nero it back? <laughs> nah. Do well. We just... I mean, we could consider that later, actually. I think staying non-interactive is nice, yeah. Just, uh... Depends which guy you hate more. Is it the Lamjin? Okay. Makes sense. Alchemist did nothing wrong. <laughs> Great. I mean, like, taking the Yavin back is actually kind of cheeky. Uh, could give him, like, some bad elf. What? Well. What did he... Yep, he is, uh... So, struggling with proactivity, huh? So he is a bomb friend. We got unlucky there. Yeah. He is a bomb friend. I mean, like, the invo on the Maddox is not really good, I don't think. Anyway. Ah, uh, so what do we take here? We just use Maybe just... The Bowman. Maybe just Pyro, maybe just Bowman, yeah. I think either one is fine. Well, the Bowman's got a low roll on this one. Yeah. Bowman is also an elf if we ever. I think keeping the elf is probably better. Drop the Pyro, see what happens. I think he's gonna use a bomb on it, right? So the armor value is actually quite nice. Yeah. What a, what a man actually tanking the damage. <laughs> so... He could, like, letho one of those. I'm sure he will, so we just pass. But he does. Well, he just does it later on, right? Yeah, exactly. Could just... Uh, hmm. We play the Bowman... He lethos it, he puts it back row. Yeah, that's fine. I think you go for the Bowman. The question is, do we click the Pyro? It's just gonna end up killing one of the Maddox. Yeah. So, probably just leave it, yeah. So, uh, it's, it's like a Letho or Quen into Letho. And, uh... Yeah. So he goes making Another. a bomb now. Uh, uh -huh. Dancing star. Wow. <laughs> That's like so, so weird. So weak too. Right. Mm. So if we go for the alchemist, that's six. Then we need seven points. How do we make seven points? I guess we could just go Gezra. Yeah, maybe on Nero for the Alchemist. Just take our uh, <laughs> take our Yavin back. Oh God, what is happening? Question is, what do we give him? This, right? Ah, a... uh, is it worse than the three? I guess it is. Yeah, we don't want to give him a bomb. That's for sure. <laughs> no. My Yavin, come back. Yeah. It's a game. He does it again. 
Well, he could shuffle some something bad back into our deck, but he can also do that next round. Yeah, here he, here he goes. So what's at the highest? It's a uh, yeah, it's a twelve. It's the it's the Vernosil that's in our deck. Mm. He used all these now, right? So he's out of those. Well, he can still have Artorius Vigo. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all of them. He wasted his location and he played two from hand, so. And they still run Heat Wave, so really our Vein Death is toast, right? Yeah, that's the annoying part. But I think, like, going. Uh, ah, if you go Gezra, he just dies to the Maddox, right? Right. Maybe we can take the curse on the 12. Yeah. Winning the round would be nice, basically. Uh, Gezra's gonna play for 9 and then for 2. So that's decent. Uh, Serret. Oh boy. They're dead already. Well, uh, and he has Ox in hand. Okay. So he locks these uh, both anyways. Yeah, I mean, like, if you think about it, the Gezra is, like, the only engine in the deck, pretty much. So you just want to drop him when your row is full, and you can be like, okay, I got my 12, value. 13 points. I don't care if my opponent interacts with it, right? So we're out. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We're getting the Onero uh, back. Uh, need to find two elves, which shouldn't be too hard. We know that we're top decking the Bowman. And uh, we're also getting the Yavin back. There we go. So yeah. There elves. Uh, so what did we miss? Only Vernosil and Yavin. Uh, sorry, Isengrim. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Just keep the hand. I would imagine he will try to bleed us. Nope. Uh, oh, okay. So we just play so he's the confident. He's confident about the bombs winning the round if he he waves the pain death. Right. Which honestly, it's scary. Might be. I mean, yeah, for him though. <laughs> like, we still have the Vernosil. Like, we have all the golds. We have the perfect hand here, right? Mm -hmm. If we draw either Vernosil or oh, Yavin, there yeah, there is. you go. We have a perfect hand. Do we keep this? Uh, that's the question, right? So what's better? If we look into the deck, what is better? Uh, is the officer better? Probably. I don't or... think the engine is better. I, I think we keep this, yeah? Like, honestly. What else do we want? <laughs> right. So we just start off with it, right? We just go? Yeah, yeah. Pours into Heatwave if he actually has it. I think the deck runs Heatwave and Invocation. I, I guess it depends on the version, but... Uh, yeah. Yep. There it is. Makes sense. Uh, so now we just drop the Pyro? Uh, well, it turns off the the engine. So I think you go Vernosil first, actually. Yeah. Like, I don't know how is he gonna... How is he gonna beat these golds, man? Like, I... Unless he has, like, a random less raid, I, I just don't see it. <laughs> well, he's gonna be... We... Uninteractive, right? Well, but... I mean, like, we have an Iceland Grim, we have a Pyrotech, we have a Gezra. We're gonna be fine. Yeah. Wow. Grenades. Oh, it went on the good road, too. Wait, both of them? Yikes. So we just All play right. the Pyro to soak we it up. Play the Pyro for some armor, that's nice for sure. Uh oh. There was no way to play around that, right? Uh, no. Yeah, unfortunately. No, no matter which side it went on, it was gonna hit it. It only, I mean, it only yeah. played for one over provision, so it wasn't like a big old boy. Ooh, oh god. So he has Letho and Aux in hand. So he's gonna Aux the... Ooh, he's clicking, huh? That's weird. Alright. Can go Ice and Grim, right? Mm-hmm. No mercy! 
19. Ox. Yes. Yevin is gonna smack him for 5. Maybe. And, Depends uh, on what else he has left. Right, I mean, I guess he can just kill one of the... Warriors. Well, he's not gonna get a whole lot... Of, oh, he's gonna get a bomb off of us. The dark is my ally. Oh, shit. Well, he just puts a thingy on top. Oh, but we but steal the... it right now, right? We just... Yeah, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is so that the question five? is... Do we do we hit the seven, assuming the eight will be our heat wave? Probably. I guess so, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we just hit the seven. Yeah. We were not the ones. So we smack it. Ailering comes out. Humans to the sea. All right. So now he has like Maddox on both rows, which is annoying. But this this Gezra is trading up so hard on this. Uh... He's gonna <laughs> get a bomb though. This Cantarella is bomb or is it a help? Yeah. How lucky are you? Like seriously. Uh, I guess it's like three bombs and and uh, so what was the ratio? Three bombs and four elves. Yeah. I think that was it, right? Yeah. We go Gezra either way. I think. Uh, yeah. Force him to use the lock right now. There's a great deal to be learned. Maybe it uh, makes the sequencing a bit weird. Shouldn't matter too much. I mean, but look at this. We're in a 20 point lead. I guess we're losing three, so it's 17, but. We lose six. I mean, like. Yeah, there's the Ox. Uh, but yeah, I, I think we should be good here. So he still has more bombs. It could hit the armor, though. Ignoring the armor for now. Yeah. Just in case he does have something weird. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we're losing like five. Could hit the armor though. Uh, but yeah, like as you can see, he doesn't really have any points on his own side of the board. Uh, Alright. Hit the armor. Come on. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. 15, uh, 15 points. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Even the usurper is not enough, so even like Joachim into whatever. Oh. He go into it's dogs. By... Does he play the dogs? What is truth if not? Ah, okay. So he gets it by one point. This... No, no, no. We strike first. And oh, because we, uh, we don't have, have nothing left in the deck. <laughs> I get yeah. fucked. It actually has to be in your deck, you know. It's not like in your starting deck. That would be broken. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah. Let's try one more. Which kinda sounds weird in a in an elf deck, right? But how about how about Lippy here? How are we gonna now. Well could also be warriors. Right. That's true. Either way either way I think uh, we're we're happier to see Lippy than Warriors, that's for sure. So we're dropping Aileron. Yeah. Can drop the Aileron and then uh, I guess we just ditch one of those bombs, right? Could probably mulligan, like, making a bomb. Uh, hopefully we don't find the medic, that's the only brick. Oh, we did not. Right? That's, that's not bad, that's not bad. So here's the thing, right? Like, if it's Lippy, he can heatwave the medic, and then he can Lippy and heatwave the... Okay, it's, it's warriors. Not, yeah, it's not. Alright. That's uh, that's a bit tough. If if we can win round one, we should definitely try to. Should we just go making a bomb now? Mm, I'm thinking it could be useful against like a long ship, maybe. Mm. Uh, if so just drop the, the pyro. One. Well, I mean, I'm not opposed to killing this uh, four. Could just go like dimery trim or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. This premium That's turned out pretty good. Yeah. Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are the big guys. The the chunky vampires from Witcher 1. Uh, how are they called? Uh, Garcanes or...? No, I think Garcanes are the... Vampire ones. He's like a yeah, rat. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah, I think it's just like animated weirdly. We just do another one. Mm. Hmm. Or do we go? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, probably can use. 
And do we want to use make and a bomb? Not really. Yeah, let's just die, Mary Tournament. Sure. Go again. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, keeping the Madog in front row because if he plays something in the back that's like beefy, we can uh, move it to the front as well. And then, you know, into the Cataclysm. Yeah, he didn't use his skull yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, There's there the it is. Ship. So the question is... Uh, this actually might be our best curse, like, ever. So and... We... Yeah, because this doesn't. Yeah. This stays low to the ground. Yeah, I mean, like, the Earth Sign version, they don't really go tall. Like, the tallest unit he's gonna have is, like, a Turg V at 7 power in round 3. Right. So I think uh, I think the curse is nice. Yeah, apply some pressure and whatnot. Don't think we're gonna like win on even uh, by any means, but if we get something like a series out of him, that would be great. What's on? You know, this just... is on melee, so it's making it kind of rough for him too. Yeah. Exactly. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. Because like, if he plays another board, we could just. Well, we could make an a bomb, but we could also just click the Madog and use the what? officer. For the clan! For oh, I see, I see. So, yeah. So we just go uh, pyro. We're still up. What do we do about this? Is there something probably, we can... probably want to kill it, honestly? So how do we kill it? Um, well, you okay? So you click the medic, and then first you click, and then you can just make a bomb the Lugos, right? Move him to the front. Yeah. And since the damage gets resolved first, your medic is actually not gonna get damaged. So <laughs> nice. He he can't he can't even like blood eagle or anything, right? It's like I I think he's getting into a pretty weird spot here. Well, yeah. If he drew his golds. You know yeah, one of these is Harold, right? I mean, one of these is be, Sarah's. Yeah. Do they And they still keep a Nero, right? So, for Sarah's? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's like just Devotion Warriors, but... Oh, okay. Blood so goes, Eagle. So what does he go Eagle with? Again. And he goes... Ah, uh, probably like a Hunter and just kills the Medic or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Well... <laughs> What is it? He doesn't kill it. Interesting. So we just play the the boy we melee. Go officer, officer front row, yeah, and I hit it. Riot! Yeah. Yeah, it's getting real awkward, and we didn't play shit. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> we played the two D bombs. I mean, like to be to be fair, nor did he, right? I, I guess he committed the blood eagle. So and blue it. boy. And Blue Boy, yeah, Blue Boy's Blue Boy is big, huge. That kills little stuff. Why kill it? Well, like I did use three matter, bombs, right? so yeah. Uh, There's the Bear Witch, uh, which is annoying because we can't play the. I mean, who cares about Bonded? I guess could just play the the three again. Give him a pass. I think that's fine. Yeah. Kill the kill the hunter. And, uh... Then we could just play the pyro for. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, doesn't look like we're get uh, like Ceres or anything good out of him here. Uh, so pyro is still the plan, I suppose. Yeah, makes sense. Could consider like a leader charge, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're gonna need him. Yeah. Ooh, actual stunning blow. Okay. So we get a we get ahead with a bowman. <laughs> or do we just uh, use we could a, also get ahead with a, a bomb? bomb. Uh huh. Bomb is actually one more point, right? Yeah. Because of the Madagascar. So I think you can make an, uh, is making a bomb. It's good against the red ship, right? Right. Uh, 
just guess go we take the moon dust. one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Too bad we couldn't banish I mean, it. We're, yeah, we're, we're just like thinning the deck as well, which is nice. Right. Ooh. Wrong row, though, if he goes serious. But if we get serious out, we're happy, right? Exactly, yeah. For sure. I mean, like at this point, as you were saying, he can have the veteran cards, right? He can have Harold, he can have Skjordal. Which, yeah. Yeah, because, like, he doesn't want to play these cards in round one. Right. Like. So, do, so we still bleed, or are we cool with uh, an eight? Get, uh, is that eight cards? Get, let's see what we draw first. Okay. All good cards. Uh huh. Uh, what's in the deck? There's a Yavin, I think, and there is Gezra. Uh, Gate. Gezra. Yeah. So I think we could win a short round three with like Vernosil and Gezra. So we're just gonna. Uh, but how do we bleed we with could foaming? Go, we could go like in death. Yeah, we need another elf. Could actually try mulliganing this heat wave because we don't wanna. Yeah, let's look for an elf. Oh. Ooh, we missed. Okay. I mean, we could still uh, go for Onero into an elf, but then. Ah, it's so unfortunate, right? We actually missed out on the Gezra. Right. Another option, though. Is to just go Svinu. Go to with like, Yeah, with like uh, Vernosil, Isengrim, and then Onero into the Gezra. So, how does he beat such a hand? He would need a Harold. Or an Igni. Serif. Bottom. I mean, I think either way we play the Feign Dead in the back row. And then. Just see what happens, I guess. Well, they yeah. don't have. They don't have heat waves, so yeah. This is this is probably just getting like skewered, boat, or he plays this and we slam him with the making a bomb. That's actually nice. The unfortunate part is that it turns off our engine because of the medic, but whatever. Oh, we went to the good row. Yeah, it's fine. Don't get the plus one, so he can actually. I mean, th does this mean he missed skewered? Could. I think he probably just wanted to get his engine down first. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. And we, right, we yeah. committed the... Oh, he went for it. There is. There is. Okay. So at this point... I think we're quite happy. So we, huh. go, so we go a Nero for Gezerus? We use the leader charges? I mean, there's not, there, there's not a... Ah, that's actually interesting. But then we miss out on the Feign Death, uh, so, ah, I guess you could also go... I think I like just like... I, I, honestly, personally, I would just go for like a Zvinal here. So we just go the, Vernosil. Yeah, Vernosil back row, and then like... Pull out the Gezra. And yeah, shoot Yeah. I think the, uh, the... Uh, long ship play was too slow on his part, yeah. basically. Because, like, look, we're already 14 up, we're getting one a turn, and we have a... I guess the question is... Yeah, it's always on Nero for Gezra, right? It's yeah. most points. How does he even deal with a 5? Gjordal one, only two, deals three, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can play one leader charge in the back? Right. One, yeah, I guess we also have to be worried about uh Ooh, Turgvi. Turgvi still like it's still too slow. So do we just play two leader charges? Just, just Does it, it Uh it can actually screw us up if the Ice and Grim thingy jumps back. But because the We just the, don't the we just don't greet it, we just take it on the six. Mm, you mean I, I think you just go for uh, Gezra here, right? Yeah. Yeah, just go Gezra and see what happens. I mean, like, if he doesn't answer the Gezra, I think we win anyway. We didn't take the mutation so. process. Well, we jump up yeah. to what, 50-something? 
<laughs> Kinda, yeah. 41, but he's still getting hit by 4. Uh, so he has Blood Eagle on the Vernosial now. Which is good though, just in case the Dead Eye jumps to the back row. Yeah, but like you said, how does he deal with this Gezerus? Yeah, exactly. And he should have saved well, the Turgvi. Oh. But he doesn't have Blood Thirsty. Like what fascist. does he do? Getting Slash, yeah. <laughs> That's so sad. Alright. So, so we, we just, just go drop the whole double ball, leader huh? charge in the front, yeah, yeah. Then we go ice and grim, kill the three. Yep. Wouldn't click the medic, but yeah, I mean it's an easy final. His hand was just, yeah. <laughs> Like, how can you defend this juice? I don't know <laughs> if he has, like, the best hand possible, like, he just... Well, he's got Harold. Really. Harold and two leader charges. Harold brings up a uh, five that he can't even use. Yeah... Well, no, it has two bloodthirst, but still... I mean, he can't... He can't, he can't. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah, game. It was a nice game. Good game. Easy smork. Easy smork. <laughs> Beating the Lord of Tamaria. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Specimen would have a word, sir. <laughs> hey, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, Mr. Wasubi, thanks for hanging out, man. We appreciate you. Um, Glad to be back. Always a pleasure to uh, play some point slum decks. You know? Absolutely. Um, lots of good stuff, too, coming from the... Uh, now, how does the TLG TV work when it comes well, out? Well... So it's going to be in March, and it basically just means we're going to be using our Twitch channel and YouTube more, right? So we do stuff on our Twitch, and then we upload the, the videos to the YouTube as well. That's basically the meaning of the TV. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, make yeah. sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, the Invitational soon, correct? Uh, uh, well, next, well yes. ne next month. Uh, it's... it's Quite literally in a month as well, there will be a like a qualifier that's going to be open to public. So there's going to be like six or seven rounds of Swiss, uh, depending on how many players there will be. So far, I think we have like 140 people who signed up. Mm -hmm. And then the top 16 will actually get to the main event where you can compete for like a thousand dollars or something. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. So if you want to join that, you go to uh, teamleviathangaming.com slash invitational. Uh, cool and Cups yes. uh, thing, tournament's going on right now, right? And that's um, put that's, together. That's actually another thing that we will pick up in March as well. Uh, basically, it will still be Quill and Cup, but we will help Quill more with like the organizing and stuff, and we will also double the price. Yada, yada, yada. So that's like another regular tournament, which is very nice too. And then the the podcast is coming. This vinyl yes. podcast, podcast and like the coaching and, and and everything on TLG TV. So yeah. So yeah. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer, uh, check it out on Team of I Think Gaming uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, Mr. Max did it. Um, uh, Max is fantastic, man. Just it's I, beautiful. I, yeah, I, I love it, man. He's great. Um, oh but, yeah, but Max, uh, Max definitely knows his stuff. Absolutely. I think like we also have the the, the shortener of, of the uh, of the website link should work as well. So if you simply go to tlg.gg and you go slash and then you go TV or you go invitational, you should find all the information about the TV as well as the invitational qualifier. So yeah, so that'll work. Um, but uh, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, like always. Thank you so much for everything. We'll see you next Monday for some more Ladder Leverage.